we're back with the Chihuahua. Here's the reference photo. And what are we doing today? We are working on the fur on the side and above the eye. Reference photo one more time for this cutie. Let's go. Hi there and welcome to Mimi's Art. Um, if you're new here, I'm a traditional artist. I work with acrylics. That's my jam and I tend to be painting animals. That's kind of where I'm at at the moment. And if you're into that, hey, stick around because today we're working on this cute little Chihuahua doggy that I've already been working on. So you can see that the eyes have been done and the one ear. If you haven't seen those videos yet, go find them. I will link them in the description and um, then you can find out how I got those on the canvas. But right now we're just working on this little part on the side. So right now I'm just mapping out shadows and colors and hues and I'm just filling in the places that um, need some filling in. So I'm basically just laying down a uh, basic mid-tone color and I am leaving some space in between. I'm not completely like blocking it in I'm still leaving some white spaces so that just so you know that um, those will be filled in later here you will actually see me following the sketch line that I put in so this is one of the reasons I do a sketch at first so I have some line to go by some sort of base to follow now I'm changing colors and by the way I'm using an angular brush here just so you know angular brush changing colors filling in the spaces that i kind of left open but also go going over top of what i already laid down because acrylics dry fast doesn't take long and that way i can really you know do an area pretty quickly Moving on to the eyebrow, mid-tone, just so that I can put details on top later. This is um, just blocking in that area. And just to give you a heads up, this video, there's no fast forwarding in this video whatsoever. So whatever you see me doing is, you know, me painting in the speed that I normally paint at. It's real life. The only things I cut out is when it takes me a little bit of time to uh, mix a color or if I'm cleaning brushes in between. So right now I'm trying to smooth out the harsh lines a little bit because it is not really looking all that fluffy. It also doesn't really look like it's blending in with that previous part yet. And don't worry, eventually it'll start looking better. But right now I'm just trying to smooth things out a little bit. So after that kind of a bit of a harsher block in, I'm trying to now marry those two areas together. changing color here and I also popped up the reference photo once again you'll notice that it doesn't really look like the reference photo quite yet and that's okay we will do a lot of glazing I mean we as in I and yeah this is just a basic block in right now with this particular color still the angular brush it's the same brush that I started with and I'm just laying down a color that I'm going to go over top of and in this case, I'm also trying to already kind of sort of blend it in a little bit with the previous color that I put down. But this is really just a block in of the area that I see on the reference photo as being lighter. And then I'm going to go over top of that later. Moving on to the bottom part there, again, I'm still blocking in and you will notice as I'm blocking in that the grid is still visible and trust me, that does bother me, but I do know that I'm going to be layering over top of it. So eventually that will disappear. Don't worry about it. Sometimes you just got to roll with the punches.
time for a change of brush and color. I am starting to layer in, but it's not going to be super detailed yet. Okay, so this brush also has a little bit of a splay at the end, which in the case of fur painting is actually really great. So this is like a third color now that I'm going in with. Start it with a darker brown, then lighten it up a little bit. This is a bit more of a warmer tone to it. So yeah, this is just yet another layer. That's the whole secret to painting fur is layers. Again, I'm trying to fluff the edges here just like I did a little bit ago because the line between the ear part and this part of the head is really harsh so I'm doing my best here to just go over the layers that I've already painted with the particular color on my brush and just to fluff it up a bit make it look like fur So you can actually watch me think here. I'll pause, I'll look at a painting, then I go back to it. And you know what? That is completely and totally okay. You don't have to like speed paint or constantly have that brush on the canvas. It's fine to think, to hover, and I purposely left that into my footage because I'm just as human as you are. I'm trying to work in between the strokes I've already laid down so I'm whatever white is showing through I'll be covering up but you'll also see me just put little strokes in between and still leave some of that other color showing through reference photo yet again no it doesn't look like it yet but I'm just using it as a guidance Now at this point, I've been working on the painting for 16 minutes. I just did a brush change. So I went to a really small brush, tiny little strokes. I love this little brush. The fact that the video is only about nine minutes long is because I do cut out when I am mixing paint and when I am cleaning my brushes. Here you see me dip into the water and go back into my palette. And this I do to keep the paint flowing. And I'm still trying to find that perfect, you know, um, ratio of water versus paint. I still haven't quite figured it out, but I've come a long way. Also notice that I'm reloading my brush very very often and that's just because it's tiny strokes only a little bit of paint fits onto that brush so I have to just dip it back into that paint over and over again
You might notice in this video that I am not talking as much, that there's a little less of a voiceover, and that's just because, guys, my brain is tired, okay? Summer break, kids, there's always something going on. Oh, and you know what? We also just added two new kittens to our household. So it's been busy. It's been busy. My brain is tired. I am I'm actually really looking forward to the kids going back to school again. So bear with me as there might be a little bit more music and you just watching me work versus me maybe over explaining. <laughs> our reference photo again now my painting might sli look slightly different also because it's on a bit of an angle the way i'm filming it but yet again here is the reference photo this is what it's supposed to look like when it's all said and done but like i said lots of like color adjustments still need it i changed color again this is a lighter color than the color i went with uh, just a little while ago now we're working on more highlights, more specific parts on the fur and really try to make it look three-dimensional, that it's really fur that and leaving spaces so that the darker color and the darker texture that I've laid down and the buildup of layers will still show through. see that I made a mistake and then I tried to rub it off and instead I kind of rubbed it in to the canvas well I don't really fret I try to work with it I'm like okay well I made that mistake it's on there now I didn't feel like trying to wipe it off with water so I just kind of worked around it sometimes it's not just a mistake but a little happy accident as quoted by Bob Ross At this point it's just patience i'm patiently adding details i'm listening to music i'm singing or praying you know i'm in my element but this requires some patience because it's very repetitive and it's just tiny teeny weeny strokes and reloading that brush quite often just to get that result that i'm looking for so yeah patience is required if you don't have uh, a lot of that, this type of work might not be for you. But hey, I'm still grateful if you come here to watch me work. That's awesome. Thank you.
So at this stage, it's a lot of rinse and repeat. So guys, you're just watching me work in real life. None of this is sped up. And yeah, it's just doing the same thing over and over again on different parts of the fur. At this stage in the game, I'm about 28 minutes in on working on this particular section. I changed my brush because I'm doing some glazes here, trying to bring some warmth and certain color back into the painting. Because all of what I just did, I mean, it's great, it's awesome, it's a, just a good base layer, but it still needs a little bit more of a color adjustment and definitely some more warmth. Okay, so for whatever reason, I felt that I needed to go back to that part of the ear. And I cannot really tell you what my thought pattern was to do that. So I've watched another artist and he actually is keeping a journal while he paints. He writes down his thoughts and why he does certain things. So I'm gonna try and doing that the next time I paint. Yeah, just to give you some more reasoning behind the things I do. about 33 minutes of painting in total and I changed the brush once again because now we're working on teeny weeny details like I said before it's a lot of rinse and repeat you lay down a layer with a color and a certain brush then you grab something else and you go back over top or in between however you want that layer to look and you just keep on going and keep on doing until you've reached the results that you're looking for and sometimes it's not the results you're looking for and you're gonna have to keep fiddling around until you get what you want
change the brush again because now I'm going in with some glazing to get that eyebrow area a little bit warmer, a little bit more closer to the color in that reference photo, which I know you haven't seen in a while. That's okay, I'll pop it back up near the end of the video, so stick around for that. But yeah, glazing. Just glazing t ties things together so beautifully. I love glazing. If you have never tried it, I would highly recommend trying it. It's usually adding a lot of water to a pigment that you want to put onto your painting just to color uh, enhance. I do not like to say color correct. It's like an enhancing, it's an adjustment. It's bringing, in this case, bringing warmth back into the painting. As I'm working with a teeny weeny brush again for details, you will notice me reloading over and over and over again. As mentioned before, because it's a very tiny brush with only a couple of hairs really, doesn't hold much paint, so it requires a lot of reloading. Now, because it's acrylic paint, I gotta keep an eye on that as well, make sure that I've got enough paint, I've got enough water, that it doesn't dry out on me. All these things you gotta think about, but the more you do, the more you learn. And you know, I'm also thinking in the future, I'm gonna possibly try out a wet palette. That might just help me out a little bit. Cause right now my palette is just a ceramic plate. So it doesn't take long for these paints to dry. So a wet palette would probably be um, a good thing to try and see how that works.
painted this section in 45 minutes total. The other side of the face will not be filmed because it's the same thing. Now here's the reference photo once again for comparison. And the next video I will be showing how I did the cheeks and the chest. And it's all kind of, mostly a block in with a little bit of details. So keep your eye out for that. In the meantime, stay happy, keep your peace, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye! Thank you.